Here's a mock-up of this barn. Right now it's 16 by 12. And I just realized on the corners it's going to be a little funky. So what I'll do is I'll cut this out. Cut this board out. And I'll put it over here on this side. And then um, and I'll cut this right here on, all, on all, all three of them. And then I'll pull this back into it. So this is screwing onto this part here. And I'll keep that going the whole line. And like I was saying, I'm going to have the boards, like the outside boards covering up the holes in between so you don't have like a space and a crack going down as it does separate. Right here is 16 by 12. I'm just thinking how, how much I'm going to need. I know this is all crooked and wobbly and all that, but that's going to, I'm going to build this as straight as I can. I'm thinking I'm going to actually end up making a 20 by 16, or 12 by 20. So right now, each tractor is going to take up one pallet. So they got one, two, got one tractor, two tractor, got three, and got four, and then there's no room. And you got very little room to get, like, move around. So I end up, I'll probably make this 16 by 20, so then I got another bay just in case. I can store stuff in it. And then I got two doors, two four foot wide doors, so if I ever get like a big tractor, farm tractor or something, I'd, ha I'd, ha I'd have room for a full size tractor. Cause this would be two pallets high, so that'd be like six foot tall. I have two four foot doors. And then I'll go out for another four feet here, and then I can have my workbenches and stuff. And then at the very back end, so let's say this is the back, it's with the front. So I have, um, I have stairs going up this way or something, or stairs going up from here over. And then I can have part storage right here underneath the stairs for like hardware, nuts and bolts and stuff I can get. Uh, and then I can have, let's say this is another corner, and the other corner. So I got four corners. That one corner is going to be tied up with the stairs and the hardware. Then the other corner is going to be, I don't know, maybe a wood stove in the one corner in the back. And then this corner I'm talking about now is going to be a workbench. It's going to go from the back to probably like three feet, all the way across eight feet. And then you got another 12 feet or so of workspace. Just empty space I can use for something else, or if I have like an engine tear down, or if I got a big tractor, I can pull it in here. I have space for my wagons and cultivators and plows and stuff like that. So probably I think 16 by 20 is going to be perfect for me actually. So then that's going to be so that's 16, so that's four, and then I'm going to need five, so that's 10. 18 pallets on the bottom, 18 on the top, so that's 36. 8 and 8 and 16, yeah, 36 pallets just to go around. So that's one pickup truck load of pallets just to go around. And then I'm going to fill in all the gaps. I'm going to tear all these boards off, the outsides of them. So if you're on the outside, the inside, they're going to have the three boards no matter what. I might take them off in some areas to help, like, help with like, storage or something. But the outside, I'm taking all them boards off except for the very bottom one. And like every other one, I'm taking just the bottom one off, or something like that. I'd have to put it together because, like the very end of them, I'm gonna have to cut this off right here, and then put a full one going across, another full one going across, another full one going across, or something like that. And then, so I'm, I'm probably gonna end up taking all of them off. All, the, all this side of the pallet is gonna come off, and then I'm gonna. Like I showed earlier in the, this video, I'm going to put the siding all the way up. Probably do wall sections and then have a bunch of guys help me carry the wall sections over. I have like a 16 foot section. I'll have the first level of the 16 foot section. I'll put together and then I'll have a bunch of guys carry that over 
to this spot over here on this hill. We'll level that out with a bulldozer. And so that'll give it for that. And then we have the second floor. We'll probably do two four foot sections. The two eight foot sections we'll carry them up and prop them up on top of that. And then we'll we kind of do the perimeter on the first level first, and then we'll do the second level. Probably do the corners so that they can help hold themselves up, and we'll have a bunch of boards holding that up. I don't know what I'm going to do about uh, roof trusses and stuff in the second floor. It's a 16 feet is a lot to span. If I got to span that, 16 feet. So I got to get two 8 foot board, two 10 foot boards at least. To probably two by sixes I don't think two by fours are gonna hold up if they're in 24 inch centers like these are no they have yet I'd, I'd say 12 footers 10 or 12 footers they, I don't think they make a 16 foot long two by six board so go, go across on top of all that and then I put this wood for the flooring up there I can always do that in another time but I need to get the roof up on top of that the roof is more important than the second floor because i can always have the roof like the floor joist for the second floor the attic which is sticking out until i get time same with the stairs those that's not a necessity but it's getting the walls up and getting the roof on is the most important part right now and then uh then i can focus on stairs and then getting the floor done upstairs use that for storage I might have to actually just have a ladder or something to save space. But I think I'm going to go get two more pallets for you guys. So, so you can see how big that would be. So here's a better idea for you guys. So this is 24, no, 20 by 16 by 20. Right there, I can have my double doors. So there'll be this gap there, eight foot wide. You can even pull my truck in there if I really wanted to. And I got four foot space there. I get my eight foot bench in there. I got another eight foot spare, and then got my wood stove. And use that eight foot to hold a, a quart of wood. I can actually store a quart of wood inside if I really needed to. I doubt I'll be working in the cold that much. Then we go on this corner. Let's say this corner is that's this corner. So then we got our tractors going one, two, three four tractors and then we got space for one more thing I could put um, cultivator there we put the plow and the cultivator there even this I could put the plow cultivator and the snow plow there and then I'll be right next back to back wall and then uh, we got the stairs going up or something that's where the quarter wood would be then stairs going up or something you got the workbench so there's plenty of room in here and if i ever wanted to pull my truck in here i could always re rearrange things and i make i can make a bench where it, it can i can have a bench on wheels or something roll out to the middle this is a pretty good size area and if i wanted to we can have doors there and then uh since i got the eight foot bench there i can take uh, two of these doors or one of them have one door there or something and then that can be I can have a door out the side I don't know how I'm going to orient it over there though because I don't know what kind of space I'll get because we got to cut down this this big tree that's a bunch of branches coming out we're going to go from probably like cab under the tarp all the way over as far as we can well, Dad wants some space to park his bulldozers and stuff. All of his equipment, just in case we get flooded again. So right where I'm standing was under water, about two or three feet. And this is higher than the road is. Because we dug all this out. All Everywhere else, we dug out and pushed it all over there. We made like a, a retaining wall, and we did it on this side too. And that retaining wall got washed away in our last flood. But, um... So this is underwater, like two or three feet. And I was underwater 
four feet, it was up to your chest, water. And then the garage had two or three feet inside of it. And it's off the ground two feet. So we don't want that happening again. So this will be safe from the flood to a point. If we have another flood that bad or worse, I'll we'll probably have water of a couple inches in here. And this is this is gonna be on top of a pad that's like four inches thick. I'm gonna be hauling in material with my cultivator. Well, not my cultivator, I'm sorry. Um, my dump trailer over there. I'm gonna have to do a video on that too. I'm putting a lift mechanism on that to help me move all this sand and gravel. That's 16 by 20 at four inches thick. It's a lot of sand and gravel. Then I gotta add concrete to that and I'll show you how to do uh, soil cement. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for this epic barn build. I'm just thinking up in my head, doing it as I go. You know just as much as I do, really. I'm posting these videos the same day that I'm filming them. Stay tuned. Um, this I'm going to be adding this to. Um, I'll be adding this to a playlist. So check my playlist, and you can follow up and watch all my videos if you ever missed any. Thanks for watching, and feel free to add comments and what you think you what you would do if you were building a pallet barn. Because. I'm new to this. I'm only 19, doing this from garbage. Normal person would go get like a carport or something to put steel on it, but I don't have two grand to put steel on carport and buy another carport for like a thousand dollars. I don't have three grand to put some put into something. It's gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars just in screws. Yeah, priced it out. Concrete's gonna probably cost me a hundred bucks. Roofing's gonna kill me. It's it's gonna probably be like $300 for roofing. So far I got some bundles from Hunter. Thanks Hunter, shout out to you again. And then, um, I don't know, we'll go from here. It's it's January and I don't plan on having this done until like next year. I got a lot of time to think about this, but this is just the beginning. I'm just propping up more pallets. I just got another pickup truck load. So I got uh, another. 16 I think so let's see I didn't haven't touched this pile yet got one one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's 18 plus the one that was on the end so I got 19 pallets and might have enough I'm not exactly sure so we'll carry this one over I think this one will complete the back wall. If not, need one more. Okay, this one over. Sorry for this shaky video. That's one, two, three. I need one more after this one. Drop that. Take that. Flip it up. On here. Whoa, that's crooked. Let's fix that. Move this pallet over. Get this room to move this one. Oh, no, it's not held. Let's just sit down down. Let's see. Still a little crooked, but better. We'll run with that. When I put these up for, for real, I'm gonna obviously put a string across and I'm gonna lay these against the string. I'm gonna go put it over there against the bank. So you can see where its frame is. Yeah, it's all gonna be level there on that tree line. So this is actually the width of it. It's gonna be four pallets wide. Four pallets wide in the front. I got the door, eight foot wide door. And then you get the four in the back. This wall is a little crooked. I have to come up to this. That pallet's gonna butt up to this side here. So that's gonna come out this way. And so coming up here, it's gonna come out to the side. And this is gonna butt up to that. <clears throat> Let's go get one more pallet. 
you got one, two, three, four. You need one more pallet for that length. Grab, grab this pallet. Carry it over. So we're gonna just set this one on the end and see how it goes. So let's stick that on the end. So we got this pallet here. So just got this pallet. Oh, let's move this pile of grass. Corners are going to be easy to stand up and prop up. So this one has to come over. How far are we? So maybe this one just scoot forward a little bit. That means this wall needs to come over. A little, quite a bit of sh shimmying, that's for sure. You got to move that over probably six inches. So that, so then this one comes up right here. Finished. I'm just sticking it together. I'm not screwing it together. When I screw it together, it's, I'm going to do as nice as I possibly can. Now we got to move all these ones back over. I haven't yet addressed that corner over there, but I got to pull that in. But the rest of it is pretty good. So you walk in, have one tractor, two tractor, three tractor, and then maybe a fourth one here. And the stairs going up to the second floor, or maybe this way, and they have storage right there. And then, um, or that can be for the cultivator plow, and have stairs on this side. Hmm. And uh, we have a workbench over here, an eight foot. And we got another eight feet of space, and we got stairs. Could have the workbench, wood stove, door, have firewood right line up right outside. Hmm. Definitely had a lot more room than that puny shed over there. It's already taller. And I'm gonna take these boards right here and I'm gonna go from the bottom, cover them up, and then so these ones are only 40 inches long, and then the pallet itself is 48. So it'll, it'll, it'll come up to about here, maybe 8 inches, and then the other board will butt up to it and help joint these together all the way around. And that would help hold, because that's going to be the base. That's what this is going to sit on. And I'd be able to, if I need to, I can screw it down because there would be a board going across. Screw it down. To help strengthen the corners. And then I'm also gonna get rid of this. I'm cutting this board out and I'm putting it on the inside of this one. So this is gonna get turned 90 degrees and put right here. And then these are gonna be flush to this. Hold that in. So this won't be as wide as it as it is now. Excuse me. And then on the inside, we'll go on the inside. So I'm gonna have to cut it right here in order to pull that in. Cut it down here somewhere. The saws off just right through it, the whole length. So it would be a little a little small tighter than it is now. Not much. That gives me an eight-foot door, and I won't mind like having the machine stick out a little bit because the door is just so wide. And it, it's there if I ever needed to grow. Like if I ever get a bigger tractor, I can definitely fit a bigger tractor in there. Like a, a full, I can fit a full-size tractor in there as long as there's no canopy going up six feet high. And then I have I don't, the biggest predicament I have is the trusses. Not necessarily the trusses, but the floor, floor joists for the loft. 
we're gonna have to go across but I don't know how I don't I'm so lost and how thick they have to be because they're on 24 inch centers I am so confused on how much strain like how much how big of how thick of this has to be for the floor joists going all the way across the price two by sixes I'm gonna need 11 of them there is a it's a hundred and seven dollars for two by sixes 16 feet long I haven't priced two by tens yet but two by sixes that are 10 feet long just 16 footers so they're 10 feet long I could join them together so instead of 11 I need 22 still probably be way too much and that's not addressing the trusses either hundred dollars man I'll call that good for today one pallet fell in the corner there the middle on it anyway but this is just for looks I guess it's just sitting here one's gonna blow it down for sure it already has but I'm just gonna unload the rest of the pallets I have inside the back of my truck and just stick them on the ground I guess So you got one, two, three, four, five. We got five pallets left. I'm gonna stick them in the ground on top of another pallet and it's junk. Thanks for watching. Please like subscribe and stay tuned for this barn build. And if you have any suggestions on either the rafters or the floor joists, what well, the size is, the dimension, I'm gonna have to buy the lumber for that. I know. Just I'm trying to do this on the cheap. I might build like a bench or a bookcase or something to make up for that money out of these pallets. Please like, subscribe. Please leave comments. I, I need help. I'm going to have a barn style roof on this if that helps you with the trusses. And I really don't want to have support holding it up. I really don't want to have beams in the middle of the garage. You know, to have it span the whole way if I have to I'll put on 16 inch centers thanks for watching